In this example, we will look at how to calculate the velocity and acceleration of a particle given that we have a vector expression for its position vector r over time t. So our particle is travelling along. At some stage it will get to point p, for instance. Then suppose that a small time interval delta t later, it is at nearby point q then if the position vector of point P is R, we can think of the position vector of Q as R plus delta R, as shown in this diagram. And the average velocity over that short time interval, when it travels from P to Q, will be the magnitude of vector PQ divided by the amount of time that's passed, that is the size of our small time interval delta T and that can also be thought of as delta R over delta T, that is the change in position vector R divided by the change in time interval T. But if we let delta T approach zero, then the velocity V at point P is in fact the limit as time interval delta T tends to zero of the change in R divided by the size of the time interval delta t. And the limit as delta t approaches zero of this just gives us dr dt, the rate of change of position vector r with respect to time t. And using similar reasoning, it can be shown that in vector form the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity vectored v with respect to time t. And just returning to our initial diagram for a minute, visually in vector form the velocity is tangential to the curve. So for instance at point P the velocity V will be tangential to the curve at that point as shown in this diagram. Now applying these ideas to solving an example, we're looking at a particle here along the path with position vector cos 2t times i plus 2 sine 3t times j plus t k. And we want to find the velocity and acceleration of the particle. So from what we saw before, the velocity v is just the derivative of position vector r with respect to t. And we basically just differentiate each component. So cos 2t, for instance, differentiates to negative 2 sine 2t, and that is still times i. 2 sine 3t will differentiate to give us 6 cos 3t, and that's still times j. And t just differentiates to give 1, so that will just become plus 1k, which is just plus k. So that will be the expression for the velocity vector. And with the acceleration, we just differentiate that with respect to time t again, which will give us negative 2 sine 2t. Two that will become negative 4 cos 2t times i. 6 cos 3t, that will differentiate to give negative 18 sine 3t, so that will become minus 18 sine 3t j and k now that's 1k 1 just differentiates to give 0 so that will just become 0 times k which is 0 so in this particular example that k component will just disappear giving us the following final result for determining the acceleration so this is an example of how given a position vector of a particle with respect to time t we can then find general expressions for the corresponding velocity and acceleration.